Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your SD card reader on your Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. I have not tested this on a Raspberry Pi 0 or a Raspberry Pi 1, but I do know it works on a 2 and 3. Before you get started, you need to know that there is a greater chance of corrupting your SD card if you do this. So if you don't want to risk it, don't try this. This will increase performance of your SD card. This will increase read and write speeds, and I ran a few tests just to make sure. It actually does a really good job, I'm very surprised. This method works with Debian distributions. It will work with RetroPie and Raspbian Pixel. Very easy to do. I created a text document down below, and this is all we're gonna need here. DT overlay equals SD host, and we're gonna overclock to 100. So you can copy this now or you can copy it later, but you're also going to need an application called Notepad++. Very safe software, link is in the description, and if you're editing any kind of text document, I definitely recommend getting this anyway. So I have Raspbian Pixel flashed to my SD card. I have taken it out of my Pi, placed it in an SD card reader, and put it back in my Windows PC. I'm gonna go down here, Mine is named boot and it's drive I. We're gonna find this section within the SD card, the only section accessible from a Windows PC and find our config.txt. Right click, edit with notepad++. I'm gonna snap it over here to the side and I'm gonna open up this text document that I created. Just copy this, everything from DT overlay equals SD host all the way to 100 copy. You can place this anywhere in the config.txt, but I'm going to go right here under my arm frequency. Paste. We can put a space there if you'd like to. File. Save. Exit. Exit. And you're done. Now I tested this with a very cheap PNY SD card earlier and it would not work. I am using a SanDisk Ultra Plus 64 gigabyte micro SD XC1 card. Here are the results that I have before and after the overclock. All right, so I used a very simple DD command to test the read and write speeds on both non-overclocked and overclocked SD card reader using the same exact SD card. On the left, we have the non-overclock. The best write speed was 20 megabytes a second, and the best read speed was 22.5 megabytes a second. Now you can pause this and read through. I tested it four times on each SD card, read and write. Ran the same exact command on the overclocked SD card reader with the same card. Best write was 24.1 megabytes a second, a little faster than the non-overclock, but when we hit the read speeds, that's where we see a lot of performance gain. The best read on the overclocked SD card reader was 35 megabytes a second. Now that is definitely way faster than the non-overclocked SD card reader. Write speeds aren't so great, but if you use a better card, you could get better performance. Like I said before, I tried a cheap PNY card and I couldn't get the system to boot. You might have better luck, but you have to keep in mind that this could corrupt your card quicker than it would if you were not overclocking the SD card reader. So use this at your own risk. I've also made a video on how to overclock the CPU and GPU on the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. I'll leave a link in the description and it's on screen now. You can click on this annotation even if you're on mobile. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.